at first glance of this picture you will see a happy family a loving husband a loving wife and three beautiful kids but deep down if you look deep down into this picture what you see in this picture the actual meaning of this picture is a man who lost everything a wife who has been lying to her husband since the beginning of their marriage and three innocent kids i welcome you to today's video my name is shooks and you already know what we do here we talk about trending topics and i give you my opinion straight from the heart i'm not biased i give it straight up so in the previous video that i did i talked about paternity fraud and i asked a question should government make it mandatory for father fathers in general to be able to do a paternity test on their kids before the kids get issued birth certificate so this is another case of paternity fraud yes guys it's well written paternity fraud and this one is that kind of story that will make you question humanity is that kind of uh, story that will make you ask what exactly do guys gain out of marriage guys let's dive into today's video so this is Kayode. Kayode is a very well-known football player Kayode plays for a very big football club all over in Turkey Kayode is very known his scores go so Kayode as a football player we are making money what does a man who's of age and with money do you do what every other guys do you look for a wife you marry and then you start your own family you start procreating so when kayode started making money from football kayode was like okay let me look for your wife and uh, settle down and start my the family of my own kayode went back to nigeria started the process of looking for a wife and uh, luckily for him he met Ezine, the wife everything went smoothly kayode and Ezine got married kayode as a turkish player decided you know what it's best if i live with my wife in turkey i don't like this whole issue of me staying in turkey and my wife staying in nigeria you know what since we are married let me take her over to turkey kayode took his wife his beloved wife to turkey to start up his own family fast forward god bless them with their first kid a son kayode was happy everybody was happy the whole family was happy for them. Kayode is starting the journey of procreating, starting his own family. Fast forward again, boom, pregnant, child number two. A boy, everybody is happy. Fast forward, boom, child number three. Another boy, three boys. Just imagine the joy in Kayode's face, waking up every morning, knowing that as a football player, I have three sons. I'm going to raise three sons. I'm going to raise these kids in my own image imagine that feeling of waking up knowing that okay at least as a football fan as a football lover one out of these three is going to take after me that's the joy that kayode was feeling until recently kayode went for a dna test and guys that is the most shocking news kayode have ever heard in his life in fact as a guy telling this story it breaks my heart and as a single guy telling this story, it makes me question, what will I really gain if I want to start up my own family? But I know a lot of you will say, no, not every woman is like Ezine. But at the end of the day, when you look at the statistics, almost everybody is like Ezine. But uh, let's uh, keep focus on Kayode's story. So Kayode went for a DNA test. After the DNA test was done, the result came out. Guys, three out of three of Coyote's kid are not his. Let that sink in. You had a wife. Your wife gave birth to three kids. For you, you are happy that you have three kids. Fast forward to five years after you are done giving birth. And then you realize that none of these kids are yours. What shame will you as a man feel? How will you react to that story? That has been Kayode's issue for a couple of weeks now. And uh, guys, I have to say, this story has taken Twitter by storm. A lot of people have their own opinion. But 
pe most people are siding with coyote now i don't have issue with the kids this kid they had nothing to do other than being a product of affair my problem is with the wife with the wife first time it could have been a mistake second time a forgivable mistake but three times in a row three three guys no it's not a mistake this is diabolical like this is a thought out diabolic plan like you are giving birth to another man's kid and you are telling another man this is your kid to raise them this reminds me of the story that trended once upon a time of a man who adopted a lady she he married a woman but the woman had a kid so what can, what should he do he loved his wife he adopted the kid the kid was old enough to get married they started planning the marriage him as the stepfather decided you know what let me take care of my baby girl the man took care of everything the wedding the cake the wedding gown reception everything even he want them to have the wedding at his place at his home fast forward the father of the kid came back into the picture the baby mama said to the man that he's married you know what this is the father just let him stay with us for the period of this marriage for the period of the wedding sorry so the man stayed was busy eating the man's food playing the man's playstation not contributing anything to the wedding fast forward to two days three days before the wedding the man that has been footing the bill the stepfather let her learn that he won't be walking the bride down the aisle that is the father of the kid that he's raised all his life that will be walking the, the kid down the aisle now as a guy your ego has been bruised what did the guy do the guy pulled out he's like okay since i'm not gonna walk you down the aisle i'm not paying for anything the wedding was cancelled i know a lot of people are gonna ask why but at the end of the day this man has an ego and he, he and his ego was bruised so let's get back to the story of uh, coyote and uh, Ezine. so as it happens allegedly allegedly guys emphasis on the allegedly Ezine was having affairs with this pastor yes this pastor that you are seeing here so it is said that this pastor is the father to three of his in the kids the story is still breaking news are still coming up and i say you know what let me come here and share with you guys let's talk so guys let's take this opportunity and uh, talk about this down in the comment section let me hear your thought because as i'm talking to you now Ezine has broke her silence she's posting these are some of the posts that she's made on instagram saying that uh calling coyote a liar that coyote should bring out the say dna test that he conducted and then tell her the name of the hospital that coyote is telling lies and everything going on on social media and rumors so read it out read it for yourself you can see from the post that is in the put out but i have to ask you guys my subscribers do you think coyote is making up these stories or do you think that we bloggers and people talking about these stories are siding with coyote without hearing is in this story let me know what your thought are. should government make it mandatory for a parent to carry out a paternity test before a child is issued a birth certificate let's know let's talk in the comment section and don't forget give this video a massive like subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye